Thank you, Tony. New at 530, we are hearing from a New York man who was vacationing in Westerly this week. A coyote snatched his dog and ended up killing her. Well, I spoke with John Burke earlier today. You're going to see in this story, he's visibly shaken by the entire experience. He told me he tried to fight the coyote and says he takes responsibility for not being vigilant in the few moments it took for the animal to scoop up his pet. But John also believes he could have been warned. His scars tell the story. What was supposed to be a vacation turned into a nightmare. We brought our two dogs. I have two Jack Russell Terriers. John Burke and his wife Amy drove up to Westerly from New York City with their two daughters and dogs this week. They were staying in a rental home off Kimball Avenue. And was just getting the suds off me. Tuesday night, John was rinsing off in the outdoor shower. His Terriers, Whitey and Raz, just outside the door. I hear the dogs just get up, growl, and... He comes a little closer and they meet right over here. The he, John says, was a coyote that proceeded to grab Raz and run off. So John followed. As fast as I could and I was screaming, Raz, no, drop her. Streets down, he finally caught up with the coyote and his five-year-old dog, but it was too late. We heard her squealing, never to be seen of again until we found her. Almost 24 hours later, John says a dog tracker helped them locate Raz's remains. Coping with the loss, he now wants future vacationers and current Westerly residents to be aware. He says this coyote was anything but ordinary. This is uh, something that I was smacking it in the face with a towel, and it didn't care. It was going to eat my dog no matter what. The Department of Environmental Management says coyote sightings in suburban and urban neighborhoods have become a routine occurrence in many parts of Rhode Island. According to DEM protocol, if an aggressive coyote cannot be immediately located, DEM will coordinate with local authorities and landowners to advise on appropriate measures for capturing and dispatching the animal. The coyote in this case hasn't been found. The DEM says it's looking into it. John's family hoping their story can prevent future loss. It's a horrible situation. I'd like the next family that comes here to know. How are we not telling them? And we just heard back from the DEM again in the last half hour. The department tells us its division of law enforcement responded to John's home on Tuesday night and then took another call Wednesday morning reporting an aggressive coyote in that same area. Then on Thursday night, a DEM officer issued a $100 ticket to a neighbor for feeding wildlife steak bones and other meat scraps. We've asked the town if they'll be putting up signs to warn residents about this coyote. We're still waiting to hear back.